everybody, Chris Gresh here. So welcome back to the channel. And uh, today I'd like to kind of do a little bit of a different video. Uh, I have an older or a firearm I've had for quite a while and I've grown a little bit tired of it. And I'm looking for some inputs or suggestions towards uh, some possible changes I'd like to make. So uh, this is a firearm, I, I love it, it's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, but the, the luster of the configuration uh, kind of wears off after a while. So uh, the firearm that I'm talking about is uh, this guy right here. So this is a, this is a Romanian Draco. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an AK pistol. Uh, you can see it's got a sling on here. But, uh, you know, I, I, I hate to say it, but they're, they're not super duper practical. Uh, and uh, I've had this for, for quite a number of years now, and I'm looking to maybe make some changes. So uh, let's, let's uh, go down to the table here and uh, take a look, closer look at it, and then I'll discuss kind of what the, my thoughts are on uh, some possible changes. All right, so what we have here is an AK pistol, uh, otherwise known as a Romanian Draco. So I'll go ahead and throw the uh, mag, mag over the side here. That's one of those nice uh, Russian Bakelite mags. Um, so these uh, were imported by uh, Century Arms. And uh, this particular model here is, uh, so let's see if we can focus in there a little better. All right, so you can see the uh, import marking there. And like I said, it is in pistol configuration. Uh, this is actually the Draco C model. So for those that don't necessarily know what a, the difference is between a regular Draco and a Draco C, the Draco C models were used um, or were put together with older parts kits. Okay, so you can see the date stamp on here, 1968. And uh, the nice thing about these is they actually have the rear trunnion is uh, the underfolder trunnion. So I'll roll in some pictures of underfolder stock uh, for those that aren't aren't familiar with those. Uh, so if we take the uh, top cover off on this thing, just like this, pull our recoil assembly out of the way. And if you look, see if I can get this camera to cooperate with me. So if you look down in here, the trunnion has the holes already cut out for an underfolder. So an underfolder stock will fit on one of these particular firearms uh, pretty easily. So that's one of my thoughts. So uh, an AK in pistol form kind of sucks to shoot. Honestly, um, you can use the sling to get some tension around your shoulder to kind of stabilize the firearm. But, but honestly, I mean, when you're shooting this thing, it's just kind of bouncing all over the place. So uh, the luster of shooting this kind of wore off a long time ago. Um, so what I've been thinking about doing was either doing a uh, Form 1 and SBR this thing. It, like I said, it already has the, uh, the uh, rear trunnion for an underfolder stock. It would be nothing to... Uh, machine the hole on each side and then install a Romanian underfolder stock. Um, anybody that's ever shot with an underfolder stock though knows that they are not super comfortable to shoot with. So that's kind of has me a little bit hesitant. The other thing is that, you know, once you modify this receiver, uh, you're pretty much stuck with that configuration. So the other option that I kind of been looking at is doing rather than doing an SBR and throwing the underfolder stock on here, uh, was grabbing a, uh, one of the pistol braces. So one of the pistol braces that I, that I kind of like, uh, they attach via the rear plate here. Uh, you have to put an adapter for a 1913 style rail. Uh, you drill a hole right in here and then it mounts, and then you can mount different braces to this. And one of the braces that that I found that I kind of like is actually one of the SB Tactical triangular folding braces. So they're, they're a little hard to find in stock right now. 
um, but if you get on a waiting list, you can d definitely get one. And they're around $160, I believe. Um, so the other option would be, uh, as far as brace style, of course, there's you know, your uh, AR buffer tube style brace. And then there's also a brace from SB Tactical that you pull the pistol grip off, kind of like the sling attachment is here, and um, you attach it underneath, and then it puts an extension out here with a rubberized brace. So... So yeah, just to look at this thing a little bit more, um, you know, I've had this since it was brand new. Uh, on the uh, the front here, originally it was just a barrel nut uh, that was welded on, spot welded on, and I cut that off and I added this uh, booster style muzzle brake on there, and um, you know, it's it's pretty cool. Uh, I added the uh, uh, Russian sling on here. And then I took the original hand guards off from uh, the remaining hand guards and put this Russian uh, laminate furniture on here. So I think it, it gives it pr pretty nice look. So um, anyways, so yeah, so that's about it. Uh, my big question is this, if this was your AK pistol and you were looking to make a change, so make it more effective, um, what would you do? If this was yours, what, which route would you go with this particular firearm? All right, so I don't want to keep it in pistol form right here without a brace or, you know, um, so I'm looking at either doing an SBR route or doing some sort of a pistol brace. So, so what are your thoughts? Uh, if you don't mind, put them down below. Uh, which route would you go? Uh, I'm basically trying to, to, bring some life back to this Drake, Draco pistol that really doesn't get shot a whole lot. And, uh, you know, just kind of looking for some suggestions, ideas. Uh, of course, going the SBR route is gonna be the most expensive because the dreaded $200 tax stamp and the paperwork involved. Um, but I don't mind going that route because since it already has the underfolder trunnion, uh, that would be pretty easy to do. Uh, but I'm not opposed to going the pistol brace route either. So uh, so again, take some time, think about it, uh, throw your comments down below in the comment section, and um, you know, I'll have some future videos uh, about this particular firearm and what I chose to do with it. Um, so yeah, appreciate everybody watching, appreciate everybody subscribing, and I will catch y'all on the next video. Y'all take it easy.